What is going on, everybody? I'm Howard Bender from Fantasy Alarm, and what an NFL week one. We've already had the highs, the lows, the injuries, the drama, everything you could possibly want to kick off your fantasy football season. But we all know it's all about getting prepared for the next week. And let's talk waiver wire action. Now, at Fantasy Alarm, we're going to have a full waiver wire article done by Andrew Cooper, where he's going to be giving you the must-haves, the stashes, the players to watch, the fab bid suggestions, everything you could possibly need in a waiver wire article. Me here today, I'm just going to give you a couple of names you're going to want to check out as the week continues here. Let's start at the quarterback position. For those of you who lost Jordan Love three to six weeks with an MCL sprain, you're going to need to fill that role right now. Now, you can go with Derek Carr. He absolutely had a fantastic game. I love the ground game that they've got in New Orleans, and I love the fact that he's adjusted well to the West Coast style of passing. Short, efficient passing, that's what's going to make him a better QB. So keep an eye on Derek Carr. You can also look at Baker Mayfield. Liam Cohen, the new offensive coordinator, lived up to his word, said he was going to throw the ball more. Baker had himself a fantastic game through four touchdowns in that one. So these are two veteran guys that you could possibly take a look at and say, all right, I just need to fill that gap. You can also look at Justin Fields for the Pittsburgh Steelers because everybody loves a rushing quarterback. Everybody loves that upside. And Justin Fields showed you just that. You have to take the good and the bad with the first game because – he really wasn't prepared to play. It was all about Russell Wilson, but this late calf injury definitely put a crimp in that, and Justin Fields got thrown into the fire. But the Steelers won, and that might give Justin Fields an extra look moving forward. At the running back position, you can fish for Alexander Madison all you want. We know who he is. We've watched him for years. He had a 31-yard touchdown reception on a broken play. Well, come on. Are we going to invest in that? No. The name I like is Bucky Irving. Because if you watch Rashad White with his 15 carries for 31 yards and the ridiculous inefficiency, which we warned you off from already, Bucky Irving with his nine carries looked significantly better. And Coach Todd Bowles has already said that he's going to ride the hot hand. If Bucky Irving is a better running back, he's going to get the work. At the wide receiver position, I kind of like Alec Pierce. I grabbed him in a bunch of best ball drafts earlier on. The Colts wide receiver is kind of splitting the workload with Adonai Mitchell. We know that Josh Downs, even when he comes back, he's going to be working out of the slot. So the Colts are definitely looking for somebody to work opposite Michael Pittman. And Alec Pierce, who's a fantastic field stretcher, he's going to be somebody that you're going to want to watch and just kind of keep tabs on. If you've got an empty spot on your bench, if you've got somebody who's hurt, Alec Pierce might be worth a look. Also, with the injury to Puka Nakua, Demarcus Robinson, and now Tyler Johnson. Both guys saw seven targets in week one. And with we know that that high-powered Rams offense, sure, Cooper Cup is going to see the bulk of the targets, but they're going to need a secondary, possibly even a third receiver. And Tyler Johnson and Demarcus Robinson both Fill that job. And then if for those of you in shallow leagues, 10 teamers, keep an eye on Brandon Cooks of the Cowboys. CeeDee Lamb is an absolute stud. He's going to dominate the work, but they're really looking for a number two wide receiver to step up and give Dak Prescott another look, especially with Jake Ferguson possibly out for a couple of weeks. And speaking of Ferguson being out for a couple of weeks, if you're looking for a tight end to grab, Isaiah Likely, obviously, we saw Todd Munkin run uh, 12 personnel, two tight end sets, 53% of the time. This is something that he's going to continue to do throughout the season. It might not be 53% every single game, but he's going to be utilizing Isaiah Likely in a big way opposite Mark Andrews. So Isaiah Likely definitely takes that uh, number one spot. Can take a look at in deeper leagues, maybe Juwan Johnson or Foster Moreau. They seem to be splitting the work in New Orleans 50-50. Do yourself a favor, check out the waiver wire article over at fantasyalarm.com. That's coming out on Tuesday. Andrew Cooper is going to take you through the rest of your waivers. I'm Howard Bender from Fantasy Alarm. We'll catch you next time.